what is going on YouTube welcome back to the channel thanks for being here I got a new member of the BMF fleet today see this bad boy is a 93 f-150 it's got a 5 liter under the hood this thing's clean I'm telling you what this is a this is a great truck so this thing is a uh, 88,000 mile truck the seats like everything is just fantastic the smell all the good smells Look at this, just a beaut. It's not perfect. It's definitely got a little rust on it, but I got this thing at a really good deal. And the thing that I want to talk about is the vibration. So I could tell it ran really good. The miles are low, but there was a vibration. And typically that's gonna show you that the harmonic balancer is bad. But let me show you what I found. So this is the front of your harmonic balancer. I've already got mine off. If you don't know how to take these out, it's pretty easy. Um, you've got to take off the fan shroud, the fan, and then I use a harmonic balancer puller. I've actually got a kit. Mine was cheap. It was from Harbor Freight, and it has served me well, but it looks like this. So there's that guy. So what uh, what I did was I pulled all I pulled the front crank pulley off, got the belt off, and then I was able to pull this off. But I didn't even have to put my puller on. This literally fell off. So that in itself is a problem. But what I wanted to show you guys, typically the rubber around here, you can see this one's starting to crack. This one's probably old, it's bulging a little bit. No big deal, I thought maybe it had spun or it was coming off. This is crazy. Can you see that? So for those of you that aren't very well versed in this, your balancer should look like this. There's a keyway notched out for it, right? And then you've got a woodruff key that, that rides in there that look at that so somehow that key wasn't sitting in there right and it just wallered out that all the way over that's crazy I've never ever in my life seen that so if you guys got a vibration whether it's a 5.8 or a, a 5.0 same thing check your harmonic balancer typically this rubber will start to crack and pull out of here and then the balancer will shift or I didn't even know this was possible I didn't even know that this has ever happened I've never seen it before crazy crazy things to check so this cost me $85 to fix and uh, man I tell you what I'm gonna be happy to start this thing back up and feel the vibration gone now it wasn't bad it was just at like a low rpm vibration and then if I got up to high rpm but rated like 2000 rpm there's a sweet spot where it was good but as you can see yet again I swear the longer I work on cars the more I see crap that I'm like how does this happen how, how is this even possible is what it is so what I'm going to do while I'm in it is I've also got a timing cover seal that I'm going to replace this guy right there. So I'm going to replace the timing cover. Uh, the I guess I call it the uh, timing chain or timing cover seal because it seals on the crank or on the uh, harmonic balancer. So I'm going to replace that seal while I'm in it too. Um, so I'm going to do a time lapse of that and putting the balancer back on, and then we'll fire this up and make sure the vibration's gone. As I look up at this Woodruff key with a blood blister festering on my hand, contemplating my life choices. That's where you say screw it. And the death vibration is gone. So that balancer was definitely the issue. I mean, it's pretty apparent by how the keyway looked. One more shot, look at that. It's insane. So I was not able to get the uh, the old Woodruff key out of the crankshaft. So I'm gonna have to address that at another time. I didn't have a ton of time today to, to work on that. So anyway, yet one more reason why a 5.0 or a 5.8 in these old trucks can shake. I've never seen that happen before. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one. We'll see you later.